CBS got us lost. All the fucking two idiots in the front seat oh my got us. God. I'm not sitting in the front seat. Going into service and having kings in hell, I just felt it was necessary to tackle some some topics and some concepts because you know I guess I've been knocked for like the murder, murder, kill, kill shit. So you know I hit them with the you know the slave labor joint and uncommon valor with RA, which you know I think is one of the best things we ever recorded. You know there was like heartfelt songs on there, like really cleverly written. Um, you know, the song with R.A., you know, he won the, uh, the, the source, the rhyme of the month. Like, I mean, come on. You know, there's stuff on that record that's, that's, that's uh, like, musically and sonically incredible. Razor Blade Salvation and Black Winter Day, you know, just sort of talking about, you know, pain and, and uh, some, of the, some of the more emotional aspects of, of life, you know. That's probably my favorite record, man. Razor Blade Salvation is like something that I still, you know, hear from people about that helped them get through a bad day or people who felt that they might even be suicidal and that that song helped them through some tough times, you know. So I don't really think ever consciously try to make a record that's commercial or more viable, but if it happened and it worked, then good. It kind of crystallized the whole Jedi Mind Tricks experience. It seemed like, you know, Vin was at the top of his game. Stoop was at the top of his game. The whole thing was becoming more musical. I personally find it hard to consciously balance violence and peace and spirituality and love and hate. Internal struggle versus strength or, you know, versus weakness. So if there's a record that's heavy on one thing, and light on another, um, then that's just how I felt during the time that I was writing the record. So I'm not sure that I'm even capable of balancing all of those things. I just know that all those things exist inside of me and which 
whichever ones are more prevalent at the time that I'm writing, I guess, is going to dictate how the record comes out. It's fucking ten of ten AM in San Francisco, California. Top of the morning to you. Top of the morning to you, you fucking dirty eighties. We got beer on ice. Yeah, I mean, we got ice on Our ice. Stereo, the typical JMT breakfast consists of Paul Newman, salsa, chips, Doritos, and alcohol. And, and the catch is that it's 9.30 in the morning on yeah. a Saturday. Yeah, like, we got beer on ice. We even got our ice on ice, dog. Like, that's how we do. We got our ice on ice. We do, you know what I mean? It's my birthday. We're in San Fran. Second time I'm actually doing a crazy show like this on my birthday. Yeah, we're. With Wu Tang. With Wu Tang, and I'll probably be a definite winner by the end of the night. Coming home in a body bag. <laughs> Breakfast. Oh, good. Right here, Jedi Mike's Vinny Pass. This how it goes down. San Francisco, rock the bells. It's beautiful, beautiful thing. I want to bring my homies up here all the way from Philadelphia, PA. Give it a pretty damn for you on some real super hip hop shit. Give it up right now for my man Vinny Pass. Guys, I really appreciate you guys being uh, on the uh, four shows, right? We sold all, all the shows out. I really appreciate I know uh, you guys will be headlining this one day. That's the reason, right? <laughs> yeah, you know, man, it's not always lot. easy, but you're on the main stage where I think you guys should be. We're, we and appreciate should, uh, that. You know, we got a few more shows to go, but I really appreciate it. Thank it's you. really an honor. Thank and, uh, you so much. Thank you very much. We right, appreciate guys. everything you did for us. So, this is great. Wow. We, we get one in every Thanks, Thanks man. you guys. Much Thanks. respect. Thank I you, really bro. respect your music. Thank you. And, and the way you guys tour and handle your business, Word. I, would, I would go to battle with you guys any day. Thank you. Man. All right? That means any a lot. Day. For sure. Come on, man. I think that the way to sort of start to answer that question, you know, about like, coming from where I started to where I am now. I think you can ask it to anyone who's sort of, you know, the kid who, who, who played Pee Wee football or Little League Baseball and is now like in the majors, you know what I'm saying? I think it's a dream, but I don't know how many people when you're younger really in their heart believe that they're gonna make it, you know what I'm saying? I don't know how much I believed it. I just knew that that's what I wanted out of life.